In 2011, IFAD entered a partnership with the Global Land Tool Network, GLTN, to strengthen land and natural resources tenure security for IFAD-supported projects in Eastern and Southern Africa with the main objectives of 1. Raising awareness, documenting and sharing tenure issues and tools used to address them, 2. Developing the capacity of IFAD staff and partners to address tenure issues, 3. Supporting selected IFAD-supported investment projects and implementing the tools to address tenure security issues. Many of the IFAD-supported projects and programs are grappling with land tenure issues and are coming up with very creative and innovative solutions, uh, which we really do want to share uh, more widely with, uh, with people from other countries, but also within their own countries. Uh, we want to share these lessons uh, more systematically. We think that uh, what, what the innovations that are coming out of the projects could contribute positively to the uh, strengthening of land and natural resource governments in, in the countries. To realize the objectives, a participatory mapping using Social Tenure Domain Model, STDM, which provides for the recordation of socio-economic and spatial data on land, land use, the people and their institutional structures, was employed. Mapping of resources is basically a technology that requires you to get the coordinates of where that particular resource is being found and be able to show its true location on a, on a map or in the location of the community. In this exercise, GLTN collaborated with the Resource Conflict Institute with technical support from Pamoja Trust, Technical University of Kenya and the Regional Center for Mapping Resource for Development with the participation of smallholder farmers in Bomet, Kirinyaga and Embu counties in Kenya whose main role was to identify, map and document their communally shared resources and interests on land. With the mapping done, an STDM-based land information management system database was established. This database incorporated the farmers into the financial management systems of Mwea irrigation scheme, which allows for the billing per their water use. This area has been mapped and it has been digitized. If we are able to get this information in our computer, on our, in our phones. National irrigation body sasa wanajua masaba yetu pira iko wanatupatia maji wa kiringanisa na ile college ilipatikana sasa ninaona mambo ya kuhesabu weka ni mzuri kwa sababu nitapatiwa namba yangu nilipe samba yangu vile ilivyo it is also going to help us to solve cases in our families where we have disputes in our boundaries we benefited from it because we knew we came to know the, the number of our acreage. So the amount of water that were released for Unit 3 was adequate because we, the distribution was so good. And that data is now integrated in the scheme uh, using the social tenure domain model. Uh, this information is very important for the scheme so that they can be able to support and supply the services to the farmers and also the farmers can be able to know how much land they have. This is going to be very beneficial in the sense that um, uh, we'll now be able to do a proper estimate of the irrigation water requirement for the area and that will uh, guide our irrigation water scheduling. In Bomet, the participatory community mapping of all the three dairy commercialization areas DCAs successfully took place in Sugumerga, Kembu and Araweta wards in Bomet County. This exercise catalyzed the community to take it upon themselves to reclaim and rehabilitate their formerly encroached cattle dip tanks, water points, wetlands, grazing lands, and salt lakes in Tsugumerg. Since this cattle dip was built, the cost of spraying livestock has reduced. We are happy that the technology has now promoted production of dairy. This place initially milk was something that was not known and it was not there so when these challenges had been addressed we can now see that milk this is a bulking site for milk and milk are being taken to the chilling plant for processing as a result of addressing many issues that is maybe securing 
securing the land where the animals graze. Geographical Open Data Kit mobile integration on the STDM platform was also initiated in the Upper Tana Natural and Resource Management Program to monitor and evaluate system that monitor land use and tenure in the projects by use of mobile enabled forms on smartphones to capture information on location, membership, type of activities, funding and achieved targets among others. We have used this data to assist us as a project in trying to figure out or getting a feel of how project interventions are going on. So this uh, work that we are doing we will assist to increasing food security which is part of what we are supposed to be doing as a partner. The STDM generated data continues to be useful in natural resource allocation and planning at the county and national levels. It also helps development partners in defining interventions based on easily accessible and accurate information.